four and I study at Vince School Golden River Ho Chi Minh City. And I'm very excited to be here and compete in the competition today. And today I'm going to tell you about a really historical monument. Do you know what is it? Well, it is none other than the Independence Palace, which bring our country independence. So are you ready? Let's begin. The Independence Palace was constructed during the French and Vietnam War. Today, it is located in Nam Ki Khoi Street. However, a long time ago, about 20 centuries ago, or 2,000 years ago, it was on Boulevard Noridum. And the palace's name was not Independence Palace, but it was Palai Noridum. <clears throat> historical monument was taken from Vietnam by the French and the Americans during during the war that lasted 30 years pretty long right it, we did not gain full power of the independence palace until these two tanks tank 843 and tank 390 do you see that they barge straight through the um, Independence Palace gates, and they find, and we finally got control of the Independence Palace. Now let's go back in time and see what it was like there. <clears throat> People do not usually stay in the Independence Palace because it was made in a very, like, aggressive part of land, so no political person could be there. And, of course, there are a few people who dared to be there. For example, General Paul Ely, who stayed there for five years before his country lost in the fifth battle of the French and Vietnam War. Or, President Ngo Van Diem, who lived in the palace for eight months and was assassinated in the Yadin Palace. So, during the times when President Ngo Dinh Diem was in the old palace that was constructed during the war, then the president was nearly assassinated. The assassination was taking place of the two, the two 8060 airplanes straight over there, and they bombed the old palace. The whole west wing was destroyed. This wing, you see. So. <clears throat> um, Ngo Dinh Diem moved to the Zadin Palace. He lived there for another of his four years of ruling as president. And then after, after his ninth year, the first day of his ninth year, he was assassinated. So, next of all, I'm going to tell you about the next president. President, do you know who it is? Nguyen Van Thiel. And he lived in this palace for another nine years <clears throat> and also the palace was bombed during his stay after his ninth year of being in the palace then he fled our country okay so now let's move on to the fact that we had taken over the independence palace when Peel was there he lived there and the Americans were there the American soldiers were guarding the, uh, the front part of the palace. And, of course, two tanks, like I said, A43 and 390, barred straight from those gates into, into the palace, killed all the soldiers, and, of course, gained our control of the Independence Palace. <clears throat> so now that is the end of my speech thank you for listening and bye it's pretty rainy so i'm not going home bye